Welcome back to Sid's Mod of Life, Season 3, Episode 82 with me, Sid. We're having a break from the nether today. We are actually going to go and do something I haven't done for a while. Um, I just need to... I'm having a bit of weird behaviour with my elytra. Um, it basically isn't activating when I double jump. I've taken off my flight suit, so I'm actually in my bug standard armour. Um, it's only moderately less effective than the uh, Pyrrhus, but it doesn't have the flight, which for what I want to do today is somewhat important. Um, so today I am not building. Today what I actually want to do is head out, find myself a nice little bit of ungenerated terrain. Maybe go this way. Find myself a half decent cave system and uh, oh hello and well, go caving and have a chat uh, have an opportunity to to really catch up and just you know have a chat about a few changes things that have been going on in my life over the last wow that's another monument um, over the last well, probably six months really um, Plans, thoughts, ideas, all the usual stuff. But first, I need to find some land with a cave. That's, well, that's typical. The first land I find, and it is an ice frozen ocean thing, Hoover. Oh, well, well, we'll find something eventually. And uh, and let's go and see what we can see. But, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. All right, we found what looks to be a likely candidate uh, if I can find the road there was a good hole that just goes right down but I think it was probably oh hello yeah that's not going to work very well for you is it sir come on then hello where are you oh hello and creepers as well. Oh, wow, we've got a little party. Um, yeah. So, my my thought, obviously, a bit of caving. I'm not. I'm not. I will probably not bother getting much iron, but I will get all the stuff as we go. I'm not going to bother with that. If I really want mass resources, then the way to do that is, of course, um, killing creepers. No, oh, it's fine. So yeah, we uh, we've got. A fair old amount of things to talk about, I hope. I mean, that's always the point of these things. And uh, I suppose first off is obviously to talk about this series, this mod of life, because obviously that's what we're playing. Um, and I, I am kind of at the moment having a bit of an issue. Only a minor issue, but it's, it, 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 it's not an issue that I normally get um that is uh <gasps> oh god uh, that'll teach me to talk and not light and explore um i'm getting a bit of builder's block with this series and i've obviously got the so a few projects on the go. There's the industrial area, which I do need to tidy up, and that is one that I think I could quite easily push through the block and, um, you know, get on with. Um, but the other side of that is the... the um, where am I going? Is some of the other builds I've got. So we've we've got quite a few builds, uh, and they're underway. So there's this Atlantis. I've still got stuff to do there. Uh, again, just struggling a little bit with the old inspiration, if you like, on on things to build out there. And oh, hello! Might have to have that. 
No more? Is that it? Three. That was a bit disappointing. But, um, but yeah, so there's, there's obviously all these things that we can build. Um, well, that'll get me down quick. I don't want to get down quick. I want to enjoy the, um, the experience of mining. Like I say, I don't really actually need to. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, there's, there's Atlantis and there's, there's things we can build there. And I've, I've got a few ideas, but just sometimes that struggle pushing past that little oh no there's more there look that's nice um pushing past that little bit of of block and and getting in there and and, and you know doing the thing i suppose i should have that as well uh inferior i actually can't see the point because we've got that one in the bag but that, oh hello, I see you, Mrs. Witchy. Hmm. I wonder whether I can, whether that goes round. That probably does, actually. Let's give it a try. Yeah, so there's, there's the, that area, there's the, there's the tidying up of the industrial area um, and getting the outside of the big bulk processing plant. You see, I don't know whether that does go around now. That doesn't look like it does. Um, hmm, right, we'll work this out. So that's that's the thing now. What I was wanting was to get a little bit of that on the old thing. I don't need you because we got, but of course, I'm going to take it because I've just got my magnetic thing, haven't I? Of course, I have. Okay, no problems. We'll uh, we'll just do this, I think. And and then there's around the volcano, and I've got some ideas for things to build around there, but a lot of these are cosmetic, and whilst obviously I like the cosmetic builds, it's, it's more what I'm about than anything technical, to be honest. Yeah. No one's ever going to sit there and accuse me of being a redstoner, ever, in a million years. So, yeah, you know, we, we, we have got that aspect of things to... Oh, hello. Um, to think about. But I do like to try and make things that, if not overly ex exciting functionally, are at least, um, at least there's kind of a rationale behind why I would want it. Hence, you know, there's no point building a a factory building for the sake of a factory you need a factory building because you're going to do something that is mass production heavy you know heavy work now this is not my usual technique but we'll take a chance um oh i see you sir you do not see me though and that is your downfall so that's the thing now where Sid Mordor's life will go in the long run uh, don't do that you swiney thing hmm. all right um is of course I'm going to be less surprising I suppose I didn't really want that salt hmm. I do need to get myself sorted out and pack a few things away well that's going to be obviously less surprising as i'm trying to say I keep trying to say and then failing words are difficult you know um and that is obviously heading towards let me just line this up and then i can sort myself out properly and that is heading towards um 118 because i genuinely do not see hey, hello sir any point really now contemplating any pack other than 118 because 118 you know it's it's 118 it, it's a, a thing oh hello we didn't want to do that but there you go that's fine we'll uh, 
We'll pop some of these away. Oh, I actually got a, got a shower. Oh, I want to keep that though. That's me. That's me torch stock. And yeah, and we'll take that and we'll. Which one's got them in that? And that. There we go. And we can right click to add. That's for keep on forgetting I can do that as well. So, yeah, we're. We are getting closer and closer to the caves and cliffs update. And whilst I'm not that bothered about the vanilla update, um, I don't tend to get that excited about vanilla changes because I, I, I don't see them for, you know, usually a few months afterwards because it takes that long for the modern end world to catch up. Um, but I think the caves and cliffs update is going to change some. Well, obviously, we know it changes significant things. The world height, all of the. All of those things we've obviously got to look forward to. Um, the deep dark biomes, the or you know, there's just a lot of stuff in that update, and I think it is definitely worth looking forward to because that is it's going to be a, a I think it's going to be a big game changer. Um, having that increased biome height and the likes. Yeah. So yeah, that's. Um, I think ultimately we'll be going there now. What, whether I go forge or fabric? Well, that's a different question entirely. Um, and I think it will. A lot will determine. A lot's going to be dictated by how fast things update. If I'm, if I'm honest, which I would be, because why would I be dishonest about this? Is is hardly something that's worth being dishonest about. So. Yeah, the Caves and Cliffs update, I think, will be the next version of Sid's Modded Life, Sid Modded Life 4, if you like. And, and I'll, I'm kind of starting to think about things that are going to be possible in that. Oh, yeah, there's loads of those. I want those. Uh, can I? Oh, if only I had ranged torches, huh? Hmm. I want. Whoa, hello. Uh, how do I get to you then? You are there. Let's... I don't know how that skeleton spawned, to be honest. Um, but let's go get this. Especially good because the, the black ones are not like boring or weird colours that I can't use. I can definitely use black crystals um what i do need to do is work our way across there so yeah the that's where i'm at with this at the moment and as i say there's there's a little bit of builder's block but um nothing i can't overcome ultimately i don't think or at least i certainly wow there's a, a lot of leaves quark crystals down here i'm uh, i'm glad i came down that's one thing I can't make or create out of thin air. Hmm. All right. Yeah. So, Sid's modern life, not dead, but uh, a little bit of struggle at the moment, and it is minor. Well, I hope it's minor. Um, these white ones are going to be useful as well, I think. Uh, Tesla. Yeah, I don't use that. I don't think for anything. Keep on when I see that I keep on thinking nickel nickel type, but that's obviously the uh, Amaz the the all of fabric mod, which is a different ball game entirely when it comes to oh, hello, a little bit more there things. Um, yeah, now moving forward, obviously we've got all of fabric th three that. I still got some longevity in it, I think. Um, I'm still playing it, I'm still enjoying it, and the only big question there is whether it should continue as a um, as a server series. Because obviously the server isn't being used heavily. Uh, I mean, it has advantages for me because I can set things and chunk load them and, you know, do all the the good things. 
like that. But that server could potentially be better used for something else. However, there is a, a what's the word? A, um, a wrinkle, I suppose, in that. And that is simply this. I know I can put it in my offhand, by the way. I just, for some reason, I haven't. <laughs> I may do that in a moment. Yeah, the the wrinkle is that I have to, I actually have two servers, and uh, one of them has been used by uh, by my son recently. But his friends have now clubbed together. One of his friends has bought their own server. And they can make changes and it's a lot faster for them yeah you know, I, I appreciate that you know you don't necessarily want to be stuck waiting for your waiting for your dad to change things on your server every five minutes that's and that is fine um oh man, come on this is a bit bits on the slow side putting things away but doesn't matter i suppose um yeah, so I actually have two servers, both of the same spec, both with a reasonable, I'll say a reasonable amount of memory. Um, and both, you know, available. Um, so I could continue, and I probably will continue with all of Fabric running on, on that for now. And no, I can't put you in. What is in there? Have we got anything? Mob drop related? No, not really. Cave roots we can get rid of. Um, bismuth. Yeah, we can't place that. Good. Right. First things first. Let us get you. Get those. Oh damn it! I need to break those down first. So yeah, that's um, all of fabric. I think. It's it's just really do we do we do we like swap it out for for that or you know do we um, do we get things now if if people would like a particular server just for the hell of playing on it this is not necessarily something I'm going to record on it might just be uh, let's make a server so we can play um, please suggest something in the comments. But um, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really been heavily keeping up with mod packs, and I don't. I think mod pack development right now is in a bit of a a peculiar kind of state of of flux, if you like. And again, oh hello. I know I've. Oops. Oh. Right. Yeah. Um, and. It's an odd one because I do think it's it's a sad and sorry state of affairs almost because we're we are I don't know how the best way I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this because it is I think a genuine problem um, but we are seeing certain mods lose support uh, and at the same time we're seeing other mods which had previously lost support gain support and and I think we get this to a degree we get this all the time in, in modern Minecraft it's at the end of the day modding for most individuals is a hobby um, let me just do that and get these sorted out. Um, and I don't know what, well, I will need to do that in a moment, but. And because it's a hobby, it's not unusual for someone to, well, fall out with it, I suppose. It's, um, well, that was a bit of a crap time of it all. Um, yeah, I mean, fall out with it you know this you do it you do it for a while you get bored of it and you move on um you know that's normal that's the thing that happens with all hobbies 
but obviously, if I don't know, if if you're into macrame, for example, as a hobby, let's, let's go with something ludicrous. Uh, well, not ludicrous, because obviously there are people out there who enjoy macrame, and I'm not going to sit there and disparage their their hobby or basket weaving or any any other little craft or hobby that you get into stamp collecting. If you're into that, and uh, you know, I, 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 for example, at the moment I'm quite into carpentry and doing a little bit of woodwork, and I've, I've kind of got into this. And, and anybody who follows me on Twitter or um, or Instagram will will know these. I've, I've I've started coming up with, or I came up with a way to make a distressed poster. So it looks very much like it's been on the um, stuck on a wall for for like centuries or, or years, and and just you know on a wooden wall, and consequently you know is um, you think that if as a hobby I decide I don't want to do that anymore. It really doesn't matter because the only person it affects is me and to a lesser degree the wife who enjoys some of these images. Uh, so yeah, from the point of from a point of view of that is actually not a major issue. Damn it. I need another I need another thing, I think. Uh, yeah, I definitely need another thing. Oh, uh, man. Let me try to, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to need another thing. Okay, let me get rid of those. Um, yeah, it doesn't actually matter because the only person being affected is me and a handful of people. It's my hobby. I've given it up and it doesn't bother. It doesn't bother anybody now. Reasonably, if I decided to quit making YouTube videos as a hobby, and I'm not going to sit there and go and, you know, suggest that my videos have a wider reach than they do. I'm, I'm you know, I'm aware of, of where I am and what I am. Um, and how many subs I have and whatever, and my relative importance in the, in the YouTube ecosystem, if you like. Weather. There's just so much stuff down here. But whilst it wouldn't have a great effect, it's not going to really bother too many people. Hmm, how do I do this? Let me uh, let me get you, pop you down. Uh, it would affect some. I mean, though, obviously, a few of you would not be able to watch my regular videos. And, you know, again, whilst I'm sure you'd soon get over it quite rapidly, um, it's, you know, it would have an impact. Because that's how impacts work. <laughs> um, but clearly, from a point of view of... A mod maker whose mod has got thousands of downloads we have a different situation because you know for example when uh, Thorncraft support ceased which apparently that somebody is making a alternative version of Thorncraft um, I've not seen it yet I've only heard Rumours about it uh, from one of you guys, actually. Then you know we we are in a situation. I have that on excellently. Yeah. Bad. Where you know many thousands, hundred. In, in the case of some of these mods, I mean, if you take Britannia, you know. In fact, let me just. Let me just have a pause for a second to sort myself out and let me just go and look look up something because I'm actually curious now how many downloads does Britannia have? Now I realise downloads is doesn't equals unique users, so you know we have to 
we have to approach this. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, the nice helmet didn't help you though, did it? Um, yeah, let me just go and have a check because yeah, this this kind of stats are kind of relevant to the discussion. So I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back. Uh, I just went and did a quick look on uh, Batania. So Batania as a mod has had nearly just shy, only only. 10,000 shy of 74 million downloads. Not 74,000. Not, you know, piddly little figures. 74 million. Now, even if we assume that on average that's actually a factor of a hundred things. Say every single person who's downloaded it has downloaded it a hundred times and, and clearly that's not the case. That's going to be that's a, a vast underestimate. That's still 73, 74,000 downloads. These are people whose hobbies touch all aspects of well, not a huge aspect, amount of aspects of the world. You know, they... They are not trivial, and it's it's actually interesting because I know um, I follow Vasky on Twitter, and Vasky does suffer from time to time with um, I think I think it's probably fair to say self-image issues. Oh, hello! What's this? We have a dungeon. All right. Well. That was a nice little find. Yeah, you know, self-image issues. We, we know self-image issues are serious. They can be very serious. And Hello. Bye bye. Ah, interesting. Um, hmm. I probably need to just seal myself up a little, however, because I am, and just sort myself out a little bit. Yeah, it's it, it, it's sad because you know I personally I think Vasky has had a massive impact on the modded Minecraft community, uh, and for the most part, good. I mean, you know, there are often. I don't know how to put this. Ah, well, let's not even mention it. You know, the, the mods that Vasky puts out have, have got a lot of love and a lot of attention. And consequently, I think, you know, things. so, yeah, it's an awkward one because I'm rambling, I'm rambling off and I'm not actually talking about the stuff I really need to talk about, which, of course, is... Uh, ooh, what have we got in here? Let me sort it. Uh -huh. I mean, as... Luke goes, it's pretty rubbish. But it doesn't matter. Ow. But yeah, I've had a... Oh, not back. Tome. Uh, magical power. I don't know what that actually does, but... It doesn't really matter, I suppose. Nice little find anyway. Always fun to find something different that you wouldn't normally have seen. Um, still, this is the stuff that I want, of course, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I've, I've kind of ranted on about that. So, I think going forward, 1.8 uh, will be my, my next... And as I said, I don't know about fabric. Right, let's let's think about let's go somewhere else with this conversation. I also need to find out where the uh, there should be another. Hmm, I'm not bothered about the books. I'm really not that bothered about most of this, to be honest. But that's fine. Um, hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, damn it. Right. 
So where was I? I completely, completely just derailed my train of thought there. Wow, that's a big old uh, thing. Oh wow, even more gold. I'll take the gold. Gold all, gold all day. Gold is one of the, the things I tend to. Uh, I see you up there, sir. No, you naughty. I suspect. Oh, have we got a bit of parkour here? I mean, it's not going to end well for me because it's parkour, but. <coughs> Like that, right? Where was I going? Oh, all the fabric. That's that's the thing. So then we've got potential server changes and updates and new stuff. And can I do that from here? I don't know. Ah, no. <laughs> okay. I may just pillar up in a minute. I'm going to guess that you won't be up there, don't you? And then I need to make that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Terrible parkour. Uh, it's a young man's game. Uh, <laughs> let's go up here and have a look. What have we got? Boop. Boop. Oh, wow. Interesting. This... This is a big old cave. Um, right, all the fabric, blah, blah. Terra firma craft. Terra firma craft ain't going nowhere. <laughs> as, as you know, we've started, recently just started Terra for season six. It's going to have, I suspect, a goodly number of... Ah! Who just shot me? You down there? Yeah, okay, stupid. Right, yeah. It's going to... It's Terra Firma uh, Craft. It's got a lot of life left in it. Um, I'm not very tempted to... At least this is just such a massive space. It would, you see, this is kind of the thing I think we can look forward to with the Cliffs and Caves update, is these massive underground spaces with maybe a little bit more detail and fun stuff going in on them, but... For the most part, this. Um, where was that? Yes. So Terra Firma Craft. Don't really need to even mention it beyond. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Oh man, too much crap. I do need to sort myself out a wee bit. Um, which brings us on to, back on to uh, the new series, which is also not going anywhere for a while. Life, life After the Woods um, seems to be going down reasonably well. Uh, time will tell. It's too early for really to get a feel for it. And, of course, we have managed to restart our new... That's a bat worry about a bat. I do want these onyxes though because I like a bit of onyx. Yeah we've started our our new series which is of course the new seven days to die to bring the Ramiro mod. Boom. Boom baby boom. Um and that kind of was working out reasonably well. I don't know how long it will go on for because you know it is well Let's be honest, it's it's Seven Days to Die, whilst it is a non-Minecraft series, um, it's not my most popular series, uh, I don't think it ever will be. There are other Seven Days to Die YouTubers out there who will do much better than I do. Anyway, this is this is a big old space, I need to uh, eat some lasagna. Oh, hello. And... Uh, and maybe just try and find somewhere to go and look elsewhere because this is getting a little bit tedious. Uh, yeah. So what? What about going forward? Well, I, as I said before in a previous video, I have recently 
changed my job role uh, at work. Um, uh, to a more senior position. And uh, consequently, that has a certain amount of uh, knock-on effect on my available free time, um, which is challenging at times. Not that challenging, but challenging all the same. Uh, so, do I really want to be going up? I mean, I've got lots of stuff here, but... So that is working, becoming a... Well, again, not a problem, a challenge. I think we, we just have to... I have to use management speak to some degree. Can I? No, I have to hurt myself. Okay, these don't work like vines. That's disappointing. Especially when I expected them to. Oh, oh, don't do that on me again. Right. So I, I'm kind of thinking going forward, obviously with the seven days to die, there's options there. Um, when that finishes, we can try something else rather than another thing. I can, because because seven days to die is a is an extra mod, if you like, um, to to the norm. You know, we don't do seven days every every episode, or we don't have to do seven days every episode. We could kind of go with them um, and maybe take a leave at hello who are you oh you're there <laughs> yeah we can kind of look at alternatives so uh if anybody watches jingles for example mingles with jingle um the mighty jingles i should say let's get his proper name he just wouldn't want to make it take away any of his mightiness you know, he, he has recently resurrected um, his, what did he call it, Casual Saturday, um, where, you know, we play a game for a little while, but not necessarily as a full-on, ah, damn you, <laughs> that was not fair. And I need that as well, but I also need to get rid of something else. I really need to sit down and just go and um, I need to make myself some torches. That's probably a good start. And then we can sort ourselves out a little bit. Yeah, so we could do things like that. Now, uh, the question has been asked, when am I going to do Vintage Story? And Vintage Story, for example, is a game that I've had since Vintage Story was even an idea. I got given an early access copy years ago. And I never really got on with it, to be honest. Um, that wasn't really a reflection on the game. It just, for some reason, didn't gel with me. And consequently, I never played it. That doesn't mean to say I'm not going to play it. It doesn't mean to say I, I don't want to play it. I'll stick that out of the way. I really need it. Or do I? Actually, I always sometimes seem to find out suddenly I, these things I don't really need. I suddenly need. Um... I've also have Valheim, for example. Um, I've kind of played it. I, again, I did not get the the buzz from it. It, it didn't wow me. I get, and that is not in any way a reflection on the game. It's just a reflection on the kind of game that I, I like to play. Um, case in point, for example, I've owned... Um, Terraria for an age, but I, it, uh, I, it just doesn't work for me as a game. You know, it's one of those bizarre things where I just, I don't get it. That's the only way I can think of of describing this is, I don't get it. I, I don't get what people get out of it. Um... It reminds me too much of the platformers that I used to enjoy in the 80s, you know, Manic Miner and, um, oh God, what was it, Manic Miner and, oh, uh, I can't even think of the name now, it's gone, it's so long ago. But, oh, and of course the, the absolute classic game, Glue Blob Bob, which you all obviously have heard of. 
because you know I wrote that with my uh, my old old college mate Harry. Um, yeah, no, you've never heard of it. I know you haven't. I think so. Yeah, we've got a whole load of games to play, and the the issue is not playing them. It's sometimes that I don't find them as entertaining as others do and that's normal and fine and everybody should be absolutely fine with that uh, and also I don't always have the time to take on a new game because I have unfortunately or fortunately got a, a ah where did you come did you just drop down from there you get Oh, hello. <laughs> That's not what you want to see when you're a, a trapped creeper. Well, I suppose it's better than a free creeper. Uh, oh, hello. Um, what have you got? I'll, I'll tell you what, we shall find out later. Mine. Oh. Oh, you can't see him now, Al. Where are you? You've got to be here somewhere. I'm going to relog and I'll be back in a second. All right, well, I've relogged three times and he keeps on. Whenever I try and capture him, he goes invisible again. I cannot capture this goblin trader. I'm annoyed. Um, I completely forgot where I was as well, but. I suppose, long story, that's just in, in, in summation. Um, Sid's modded life not going anywhere, but also not not going on forever. Um, yeah, the mental blocks are part of building and part of gaming and part of anything like this. When you get creative, you something when you have a creative element sometimes you just don't have the creative juices all the time it's a fact of life and uh, you might as well get used to it because it ain't going anywhere however it usually is a temporary thing and consequently I don't think we need to worry <laughs> I'm certainly not and uh, yeah all the fabric, still got some play in it. Um, I don't think there's a huge amount of play in it. I am kind of, again, getting towards the the end of, of that pack. Um, I I do have capacity to create a new server, and comment, comments are welcome on any server packs or anything you would like to see. Um, in that kind of vein um, and you know it might not be necessarily something I do as a series but it might be something I upload and make available for people to play on and to play on myself when I've got one of those rare spare moments <laughs> yeah that's the only thing My when I say spare moments I know that for me they are increasingly rare these days uh, especially now I can travel again, which has been a, you know, a godsend for someone like me who likes the holidays. Um, seven Days to Die, still going on. Obviously we've got the new Life After the Woods series and Terra Firma Craft is never going to go anywhere because Terra Firma Craft is my one of my bread and butter series. I love Terra Firma Craft as well. It's one of those games that really does just push me to, to do more and more so yeah I don't think there's any any danger of that ever happening I will definitely be taking a look at vintage story um, I may take a look briefly on a like a you know let's uh, uh, almost like a quick look thing and if and if we like it we'll go there and if we don't we won't it's uh, nice simple solution really isn't it if I like it we'll do it if I don't we won't 
Uh, let's get rid of you. Why don't I get rid of that as well? I'm bothered about uranium. We've sorted that problem a long time ago. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we are in the the ecosystem of, if you like, of of my my channel. Um, I have got a few games to play. I've um, if you if you've been watching and and I, I realise this is highly doubtful that anybody has seriously missed this, but um, it was just really a little little side venue if you like but hard space shipbreaker the reason i haven't done anything with that for a few weeks is there was a it's because it's an early up uh, access game there was an update and um, because there was an update um some updates are reasonably just bug fixes or whatever and others are a little bit more destructive and require me to Re replay the progress so the, uh, this particular one we fell into that category I think I'm kind of ex exhausted this uh, there's probably loads more cave down here I know there is but on that note thank you very much for watching guys I'm just going to go and see if I can uh, find something to use as an interesting screenshot and uh, and then we shall uh... Oh, that's not an interesting screenshot is it but it it could be. Let's go and have a look. Thought that was a diamond there. I was getting excited. There's a ruby. We'll have them. Because I wore one of them out. Um, yeah. Return to normal operations next episode. Um, but as I say, let me know what you think. If you've got any ideas, any thoughts, anything related to or completely unrelated to the um the topics that i've covered here feel free to uh share them because you know whilst i don't always reply to all the comments i do read all the comments and they do make a big difference so that's a thing anyway till next time thank you very much for watching guys i'll see you soon bye for now